Beer Pong, a classic college house party drinking game where you throw a ping pong ball into your opponent's cup. Actually, it normally looks something more like this. Here I am playing beer pong with my friends at home. When they get one ball in, you take one cup out and drink. The first team to get rid of the opponent's 10 cups wins. Simple. But in Hong Kong, beer pong isn't so simple. Every week, thousands of people gather in bars to play their version of beer pong, using rules known as double cherry. Local bar owners have transformed the traditional rules and installed flashy digital tables to enforce the double cherry rules. The high-tech tables, called Pong Connect, are now in over 60 bars in Hong Kong. Equipped with a table and cup that can detect a motion-censored ball, you can use a QR code to log into an app that tracks your game stats, all in an effort to speed up the game and get beer pongers to buy and drink more beer. So what's the biggest difference? You can win the whole game just by being really good at hitting the front cup. The most notable change is the double cherry. At the start of the game, each side gets two attempts to score. If you hit the front cup twice, six cups get taken away, more than half of the original 10. After the first turn is over, other cup combinations result in different rewards. Another big difference is re-racking. This means your opponents must rearrange your cups in a formation that makes it easier for you to score. The double cherry rules lets you re-rack up to five times, but only when you're down to less than six cups. More traditional rules only allow up to three re-racks. Beer pong fans are divided over these new rules. Uh, I think the older rules take more accuracy and skill to get all the balls into the cup. Because um, there's less re-racking and then the game is just a little bit harder, so the chance of luck is lower. The double cherry rules aren't just getting popular in Hong Kong. The Pong Connect tables are now appearing in bars across Malaysia and Taipei as well. Next up, Japan and the US.